what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clear in the crowd We break down, then we block In a two-tone car, there's some two-tone glass They want us back to the gang club Brianna Imani and you're tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview and today let them know who we got in the building. Yo Trap, biggest trap of them all, Yo Trap in the building. Alright we got Yo Trap in the building, so <laughs> what's that? <laughs> Not that's, the money, that's the money machine, <laughs> part of the So let the people know where you from. Upstate Albany, New York. Albany, New York. Now when people ask you like when you out of town, and people ask you where you're from. I don't do lie you yeah, from Brooklyn or the Bronx. I tell her from upstate. Oh, you do? Yeah, from Albany. Cause yeah, I let them know from Albany. Yeah, a lot of upstate niggas be saying they from no, New York, they like making it seem like they from the city. Nah. So what is it like out there? I told you before we started recording. I went to mm -hmm. school out there, so I'm a little. I know a little bit about it, but but people who don't know, what is it like living out there? I ain't got a lot. It's really like really whack out there for real. So if you want to get some money though, mm -hmm. you get some money out there for sure. But it ain't nothing to do up there. Ain't got no club. Ain't really got no like niggas come out here to the town in Jersey to get their drip. I ain't really got nothing going on. I was really trying to get some money doing some money. Alrighty, okay. So in terms of like the music scene, who's hot out there? I know you doing your thing, but who else? Music, uh, yo, chap. Uh, Ready, Rob, uh, my son, Brad, Brad, he just came home, son over there, Brad, my son, Glow, Free Glow, my son, uh, Frencho, mm -hmm. you can't just keep naming mad people. I mean, yeah, you named a, it, you it, named it, a few. It's, they got to start typing in more, but it is a couple people up there that I mean. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. like, I ain't gonna lie, when people were like mentioning like, mentioning like New York, they don't mention like upstate, like with like, we trying to kind of like, I don't really like that either. Like, yeah. I don't really be liking that. Why? Like, trying to come like, from up there, I'm from New York. Like, stop playing with me. Why do you think that is, though? Huh? Why do you think that is? Because I ain't from the five boroughs. But, like, so what do you think that, like, the artists from the city are doing that upstate niggas aren't? Like, why do you think that they're getting that attention? Because they just, there's mad people out here. It's just mm -hmm. all, there's a million, a million, and <laughs> how many people out here? So you don't feel like you have that game? Nah, if I was from if I was from Brooklyn, I would have been literally. I'm not just from all of them. Like oh, really? yeah, I'm So you think that where you're located basically yeah. can determine how lit you are? Yeah, for sure. Just like you said, just ain't Brooklyn. Like you just want, people don't know nothing about Brooklyn. You just ain't from Brooklyn. People mm -hmm. be thinking I'm from Brooklyn. I'm, I'm from all of them. Really? That's what you yeah, yeah, yeah. I just was at the river. She said, uh, out there. She said, yeah. You better uh, put your chains up. Uh, people don't come, they don't dress like us. I'm like, what? What? I'm like, the Berber, this uh, uh, casino with Berbers. I'm like, what? What you talking about? Oh, like, yeah, upstate. Yeah, she's yeah. like, I'm from Malik. She's like, oh, where? I thought you was from the city. Nah, I'm from Albany. Because they're not used to seeing shit like that. That's why. Mm -hmm. What you think? Mm. Either way. Okay, so when you was naming people that's hot, you mentioned one person who's locked up right now, one person who just got out. I know you just got out not too long ago, too. Sure. How has it been, like, transitioning from being locked up? Getting out, making your music. Getting out, um, I know why it was. It's kind of different because you know me, music change, be changing like constantly. So it was like I had to like sit back, had to get my shit together, mm -hmm. had to get my money up. I mean, you know, it cost money to get this shit right. So mm -hmm. had to do a lot. Then like, uh, for the music though, like I got, a, I got, I got shit on the way for sure. Mm -hmm. I got heat on the way. So you just said something that I wanted to touch on. You said that music changes, of course. Mm -hmm. So what was the difference between the music that you were listening to or the music that was hot when you got locked up versus when you came out? Before it was like, now it was just like more melodies. The melodies like at its best right now. They got me like, mm -hmm. I'm trying to do, before it was just like more rap. Like, and now they got you singing yeah. on the beat, trying to harmonize. Yeah, I ain't singing on the beat. <laughs> <laughs> no? Well, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying, like, harmonize, but I ain't really. I, mean, I think my voice too deep. I can't really get it. You can't say that. Oh, no. But okay, it's just, it just not, might not be your yeah, thing. That's fine. So, how did you, like, adjust? Were you listening to music while you was in there? Uh, yeah. Yeah? So, did you already know, like, what direction you were going to go in when you got out, or? 
I'm saying, you know when you in jail, you just be writing mad shit while mm -hmm. you locked up. When you come home, that shit don't really be like, you just come hear some shit like, nah, I ain't really. Mm -hmm. You gotta switch the whole shit up. Mm -hmm. Then you hear a different beats, so it's like, I ain't with you. I mean, you making right. you some fire shit. You might want to cook up on the spot to that shit. Niggas right, freestyling right, right. this shit, so it's like, mad different shit. So, what would you say your creative process is like? You write your. I know you kind of just touched on this already, but you write your song before you listen to the beat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I gotta sit down. To, I gotta sit down to think about my shit. I can't. I ain't really good at the freestyle and shit. Mm. So how do you know, like, cause you've been pretty consistent this year. Like, how do you know when you have something that's gonna be a bop? Like, when it's a banger. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Mostly everything I put out is a banger. Going for a going banger, banger. It's just mm -hmm. like. It's like I ain't gonna like when when I when I freestyle it's like I just not really I ain't really got the line punch line I really want get I got to sit down and listen to the beat you mm -hmm. know what I mean because before it was all this freestyle and shit niggas to be writing shit I'm still on that but I can't really not go with the freestyle. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you think like people are more gravitated towards these days? You think that people really like listen to lyrics or do you think that it's more the beats that you use? Oh, uh, it's probably like beats for real. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, if people like, if you saying, if you saying good shit, bro, it's really like, but niggas just want like, man. Right. Just, this is what people want to do, get in the car, mm -hmm. so if you mm -hmm. beat fire, like, you damn near got him. What would you say, who produced, like, your hardest beat? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, Forever Road, that, that one, that, that one right there, Forever Trapping, that shit fucked him up right there, mm -hmm. Forever Road. But I, I got a car, I got mad, uh, my son Presley, I got mad at those, uh, Matter of those fire shits too for sure. But part of the game is that my son probably cooked that I got them two right there, I'm I'm tapped in with them two. Mm -hmm. They got me going crazy. Okay, okay. So I mean I already spoke on you being consistent this year. I know you just dropped I don't care. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. That was so what what inspired that song? I'm very curious. Like what niggas was talking about you? Like niggas be hating. I mean, you know when you get more money, more hate, more come with more hate. Uh -huh. I mean, you got hate like dang bro. Make him want to do something too, but then it's like, dang, bro, you already just broke his head, bro. Like, I got mad <laughs> shit going on. Mm -hmm. Can't even get him followed. You might got caught going get him on. But I ain't really don't care about niggas, but I got shit going on. Uh -huh. I got shit going on. I'm trapping, I'm getting money, I'm happy, I ain't really getting care. Mm -hmm. Can't care. So that's what inspired that? Can't care. Okay, so like, what would you say is like something that's commonly like, like a common misconception of you, something that you be hearing about yourself that's not. There's no truth to it. Um, uh, I don't even know what people be saying about me. I ain't gonna lie. You don't pay it no attention. Yeah, I don't know. That's I'm, good. I'm just in the trap room, trapping over there. I ain't can't even. Really, I don't okay. even be seeing people. So, all right. So then, something else that you said in that song, you said that you was broke six months ago. Uh, yeah. You said that. You said you was broke six months ago. Is that true? For sure. Yeah? So what is up to you? Like, how do you know when you up versus just like, when you making money? What you mean? Because you're not broke no more, oh, yeah, right? So how do you know? Like, at what point are you no longer broke? What would you say? At what point? Yeah. Uh... Damn. I mean, it depends on what kind of it depends on what kind of caliber nigga you with. What changed? Okay, so what changed for you within the last six months? Cause you said you was broke six months ago, unless you was just saying that. Oh yeah, nah. I was, uh, so what changed? Throwing, the plug stopped throwing the bitches in. Start <laughs> cutting the bitches in. Everything. Like, what I can't handle now is up again. Okay. All right, we don't gotta dig too deep into that, but I mean, so what would you do? financially? Oh, financially, how much? What you tomorrow? No, no. Oh my all god! All right, all right, all right, all right. We gonna we gonna edit that part out. All right, so you got <laughs> you got trapped in your name. So I mean, allegedly, you know, that's what's going on. But I'm curious, like, what are the trap niggas these days investing their money in? Like, what is it that you you got going on? I'm investing in uh, my weed business. Mm -hmm. I got weed business is going on. I'm, uh -huh. I'm investing in weed, investing in real estate. Okay. Shit like that. So it's not all about the joke. Because I know a lot of people, like, they were just spending money on clothes and just impressing the internet. They don't really got a lot of shit going for themselves. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it'd be a lot of that too, a lot of capping going on on the internet. Mm -hmm. But you said real estate and business ventures, so that's yeah. Businesses. If you big businesses. if you had to choose between rapping and trapping, which one would you choose? Rapping and trapping, which one would I choose? It depends which one going up more at the time. If the trap going up, going the trap. If the rap going up, if you want to pay them more, I want everyone to pay them more. Really? Yeah. So you never made any money based on rap, and it was really just like. People might be fucking with your music, but you're not really seeing anything monetarily from Could it. I you just give it up. Rapping is what you're trying to say? First of all, I didn't even ask about that. I didn't even ask about the cheese. I'm just saying, like, let's say that you was rapping. I don't get paid over rapping. That's what you're asking. I don't Bro, this is supposed to be an interview promoting her artistry. Like, that's why she's trying to. <laughs> oh, all right. So we're talking music stuff. You keep bringing it back to trap stuff. I'm like, no. If you, because I'm saying, like, and this part could get cut off. I'm just saying, like, if you were making music, right, and nobody, you weren't seeing any money from it, yeah. but people were genuinely fucking with your music, like, would you keep making it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. People jacking me for sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. So who would you say, like, is your audience. Who do you make your music for? Who oh, make my music for? Mm -hmm. For the trappers. For the trappers? So that's not like I can't bump your music with my friends. Well, um, Can you bump your music? Yeah. You only make it for the trappers? I mean. For the niggas that can relate, basically. For the people that can relate to the trap. Um, I okay. mean, people be bumping like other stuff we can't relate but people females be bumping like gangster shit they can't relate to you see what I'm saying yeah they be uh to some gangster shit they just bumping so I yeah trap shit. okay all right so when you went on tour because you just went on tour last year like towards the end of last year right yeah how was that tour that shit was cool that shit was yeah shit was what was like the was audience cool. reaction to your to your set to my shit mm -hmm. they was they was jamming to my shit for sure they was Every city they was jamming. Yo, trap, say trap. They loving that. They loving that trap shit. Really? Yeah, they love that. That was your first time. Sure. That was your first time going on tour, right? Mm -hmm. So, what was like the highlight of your tour experience? The highlight? Mm -hmm. uh, I ain't gonna lie. I was just going to all the cities, traveling because I ain't gonna lie. I don't really. Before I was on parole, so I couldn't really move around. So it was just me moving around, going to every city. Like, niggas tapping with me. Mm -hmm. Trying to get off the stage. Oh, what's your answer being? Oh, trying to tell mm -hmm. me. Niggas trying to really get with me. So it was like moving around every state. It was mm -hmm. like all the states, running around the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. And this is backtracking a little bit, because I didn't ask you this at first, but I'm curious. Like, how did that even, like, happen? How did you wind up getting on tour? On tour? Um, oh, it was me. It was my... Uh, Free A shot. Of my, that's like my. That's my brother. That's like CEO. He can manage me and shit. Mm -hmm. That's my brother. We met uh, to official. Shout out to official. We met to official on um, at, at a uh, little baby, a uh, little baby show in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. so my bro tapped in with me, so he tapped. He plugged us in and just like, mm -hmm. I just set it up and we went on tour. Oh, okay. So was your bro like what? How did you even start making music? I didn't even ask you that. How I started making music. I ain't gonna lie, it's my, uh, my cousin, uh, my cousin already brought, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, before I was growing up, like, he was just, like, making mm -hmm. songs for the, for, like, for, for my hood, but it's, like, mm -hmm. he was going crazy with that shit. Mm -hmm. So, I ain't gonna lie, like, we just, he made, he made a little rap group, uh, he was crazy there, mm -hmm. me, me, A-Shot, and, uh, ready, my cousin ready rap, mm -hmm. he was crazy there, and we just, then we turned to the cracking heads, that's what, that's my cousin uh, ready shit. Mm. And you named him when I was asking you who's lit out there. I feel like you named him. Yeah. So he's still making music? Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's lit. Yeah, he like the goat out there. Oh, that's lit. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so you surrounded by people who are making music. Do you feel like that inspires you to like keep it going or? I ain't gonna lie. Well, I ain't, I got motivated, like I said before, I told you, I got motivated because, like, ain't nobody really, like, putting on for Upstate, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They ain't really looking at Upstate, like, over me, like, Syracuse, Buffalo, they ain't really, like, if they only took them up, fuck, we ain't really from up there, like, they ain't really jacking me. Mm -hmm. So you want to be, but, like, yeah. the voice? Yeah, voice of Upstate, yeah, yeah, put on for Upstate. Okay, 
So if you're the voice of Upstate, I gotta hear something that came from your voice. Like what? What would you say is your hardest bar? My hardest bar. That would make you worthy of being the voice of Upstate. <laughs> Uh, I got, I got mad shit. Mm -hmm. I got unlimited shit. Unlimited is crazy. I've been rapping for mad long. How long? Just told you. you probably since I was probably like, like, through the crazy era. Probably like 18, like 19. And you don't got no bars that you think <clears throat> just like, Bar? fire. Went over people had type shit. Fire bars, uh, or a song, a song. All my songs, fire. Don't do I don't that. Care. I don't care. If I don't you, care. who's your favorite? Who's your favorite rapper right now? Favorite. Yeah. Well, I listen to. I listen a little bit of everybody. All right. So who do you bump the most right now? Well, I bump the most. Mhm. Mm uh. I ain't gonna lie, they just be trying to bump my shit right now. Don't do that. What? Don't do that. Bump my shit right. Well, okay. Because what I, what I would ask you is if your favorite rapper right now yeah. was to walk through this door and you had one song of yours to play him to really like get him to fuck with you or even put you on a, put you on a track, what song would it be? What song would you play? What song would I play? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I got mad on release shit. That's fire. So what? Which so I release when I release? I got, uh, I got, I ain't gonna lie, what part of the game is that? I'll play that. I play, what part of the game is that? That's the name of the song? Yeah, yeah, part of the game is that. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I got, uh, 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 Ransom, Shove the Chat, I bodied that. Yeah, I'm body <laughs> for sure. That's the one right there. That when I ran something, when you was asking the question, that, that okay. whole verse. What's the verse? This granddad, oh, this Joe Chai piece goes to granddad pension. Granddad pension is crazy. This Joe Chai piece goes to granddad pension. That's mad. How much? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Get into it. So, so, so tell me about um the Y9 Kitchen Boys. What's that about? The Y9s. That's uh, that's just like some little. That's a little local. We was uh cracking Hayes. That's that's my cut. Like I said, my yeah. cousin's ready. Mm -hmm. He cracking Hayes, and like we just like I started like me and my brother started like Y9. Like just like we try like switch it up. Like you know you try being Vince. So it was like cracking mm -hmm. Hayes. Like and drive so Y9 with the Y9 Kitchen Boys. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's Y9. Okay. So well, basically the same people, just like a, just a different name type shit. Got it, got it, got it. So what y'all got like coming up? What's what's in the works? Uh, my son Bray just came home. He got about damn eight. He got like eighty tracks right now. I ain't gonna lie. I'm weak. Okay. <laughs> he's been locked up for four years. So just how many tracks you think he got? Mm -hmm. I mean, my son Slug, Slug Smokey on the way. I got the Lux Two on the way. The Lux Two on the way. When can we uh, expect that? Uh, I'm dropping 311. Oh, that's right around the corner. Right around the corner, it's on the okay. way. Okay. All streaming platforms? That's how to pull up, promote, promote the music. So what? <laughs> so what can we expect from this deluxe? What's uh, What's it sounding like? I ain't gonna lie, I got some. I got a couple of features before. I wasn't really having features. I was just trying to I mean, get my shit. Up. I got a couple of features. Mm -hmm. Couple of artists I was on tour with. Like who? Uh, King Box, got a feature with uh, Felipe. And I got a feature with uh, Frencho, and I got a feature with uh, my son, uh, Sally. Uh, I got Sally, like, huh? Sally Queens. I got like I got like probably like six tracks on the deluxe. I got mm. a track for the females too. Mm. You probably might like it too, since so you're asking what I got. Okay, I got what is it? It's, it's melodic. No, it's, it's trap though. It's trap. It's trap shit, but that's just not me. Mix the trap. You probably think I'm talking about you, but I'm talking about. Ooh. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 okay, what's the song called so that I know to listen for it. What's the song called? 
I ain't got a name for it yet. Untitled. All right, so I guess when if y'all watching, when y'all hear the song, if you know, you know, you gonna hear it. So, what would you say is like some advice to upcoming artists like yourself who's trying to trying to make it in this industry? I know. Oh, you guys, you gotta invest in yourself for sure. That's number one. Like, it's like you can't really. Can't do, can't do no handouts, bro. Like, can't really, can't really, ain't gonna really get you so far. You just wait for somebody to depend on you. Like, that's what me. I'm independent, so it's like mm -hmm. I know. I already just know how it is. I'm do everything myself. I ain't waiting on nobody. Got videos, cameras. Mm -hmm. I do that. I just go get that shit. And we just get it done. And you can't can't give up. I keep pushing. When you think niggas ain't fucking with you, might get that break. And you got travel too. Like you might be in a small city like where I'm at. Like I mean, mm -hmm. if you lit, it's already just lit. It ain't really lit like that. You ain't really travel. You got to move around. But once you move around, you probably see people fucking with you. Like I did. I don't really. I mean, mm -hmm. my first time going on tour, I see that whole 22 stay fucking with me. Mm -hmm. so that's all you got to do. You got to keep going. That's good advice. And just piggybacking off of that real quick, I know you said that in the South they showed you mad love. I like a lot of love the South. I don't like a lot of stuff. Relocation? I used to live. In, I used to live in Florida. Pensacola. Would you relocate? Well, relocate? I ain't gonna lie, I'm doing good where I'm at right now. That's why I'm, st mm -hmm. so I'm still here. So it's like, but yeah, I, I'm definitely trying to get a bad I'm part of the music so I get crazy with the music. Okay. Okay, so now in terms of just what we can look forward to, I know we got the deluxe coming. Do we have any other plans for 2022? Uh, plans? I got a mixtape on the way. I got, um, I'm trying to drop. That's why I'm trying. I'm trying to drop the road to, uh, deluxe too. I got me and uh, me and French up. We got EP on the way. Mm -hmm. um, Untitled. Uh, we got Kitchen Boy mixtape on the way. Mm -hmm. Me and Brad, we got something we having. Unlimited heat. And um, God, I got I got a lot of shit. I got a uh, track with Peso Peso on the tuck. I'm just like I got to. I got so shit. you you working? Yeah. I got shit in the tuck. Mm -hmm. Got my son Shug. I just got mad shit in the tuck. I'm just trying, me and get it up. Trying to get mm -hmm. my, like I said, I ain't really, you know, me and one of the old so I get it up, you know, just like, just like, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So is there anything else that you want to throw in here while you got the time? Anything else that you feel like we didn't touch on that you would like to talk about? Uh, I'm trying to. Trying to tap, tap in right here. We see it. We see it. Tap in. Man. Tap in, man. Okay, so shout out your social media, YouTube. Follow me on. Follow me on Instagram. Why not underscore your trap? 